going on in this picture? Relax after a hard day of work. Okay. What do you see that makes you see? Uh, you see both of the gentlemen sitting there um, who are sort of resting as, as well as this younger gentleman over here. Mm -hmm. uh, the little girl looks like she's kind of tired too. Okay, the so boots hanging. There are boots hanging here, okay. Oh, he's got like work clothes on. Okay, so these look like his work clothes. How can you tell? There are holes in them. There are holes in them? Dirty okay. shoes. It's smoking. I uh -huh. problem. And they have the gun on the resting on the knee of the older mm -hmm. gentleman. So maybe they were hunting. Like they may be calloused or in his hands, different coloration, so just you know, outdoor work. Okay, so signs that they spend their time working outdoors. Mm -hmm. So we've noticed this man is smoking a pipe, this man is holding a gun. Um, so the pipe might add to the sense of that they're relaxing after a hard day. Um, and the gun might be an indication that they've been out hunting. The black one looks like a hunting dog, the yellow one doesn't. Ah. And then there's another little one over underneath the yes. boys playing. With the this is one that's a little bit harder to see, especially if you're looking at this in reproduction. But there's a little tiny dog over here and then the two in the front. What makes this one look more like a hunting dog than the other two? It just looks like a Labrador. Okay. So it's a breed we associate with hunting? The yellow one looks like a hunting dog. Okay. The title, which some of you might have noticed, I'm not doing as much to cover it up this time, is called a dog swap. What does that tell us about the picture? Mm -hmm. So he's saying goodbye to his dog? Or he's thinking about yeah. whether to go through with the swap or not? Mm -hmm. Because he looks very pensive and the other guy looks like he's waiting for him to make up his mind. He certainly has his gun there to make sure that he's <laughs> uh, You did something when you said waiting, you let forward a little bit. And I think that's this man is leaning forward, um, which indicates maybe he's waiting for an answer. And as you said, this man is looking more pensive, more thoughtful. Maybe but that's why the little girl is sad. Uh, maybe that's going to be her pet they're giving away. Look at that little puppy. <laughs> Oh, okay. <laughs> and I'm gonna get the black dog away because you can see that he's kind of like comforting him, like "Don't worry, you'll be okay." And I think the little boy's interesting because he's kind of like fading yeah. into the mm -hmm. background. Yeah, he's so looking he, away. He's looking away. He's faded into the background a little bit. Why do you think the artist might have done that? What can you be? Oh, he's attached to the dog. So why is he facing the dog? Now, what else is the little boy doing? Focusing on the other dog. Yes, he's playing with this one. Not with the old. already said, we're getting a new dog. So he's coping with it by turning away, playing with the, with the little puppy. Okay. Why do you think it's the, the choice of dog is important to this family? It looks like they're in a field, you know. So maybe. The other dog, it's like she said a herding dog, then it would be more important for them and uh, for their livelihood, I guess. Um, so a stretch of that fishing net. That's what I'm mm -hmm. so, Okay. So they're using the land, they've got a fishing net. You can see fencing in the background. Right. 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 Okay. One would assume that makes it a community kind of situation where people okay. are dependent on each other. Perhaps they are dependent on each other. Hunter man brings meat and this family farms. Okay, so it's this maybe it's a community exchange. Some kind of share profit. Mm -hmm. What else can you tell about sort of their daily life, the condition of their home? A dirt entryway. Mm -hmm. You can tell in terms of relationship. I mean, mom's in the doorway, kind of hovering in the back, but what looks to be the older daughter, like, mm -hmm. so the women are kind of back away from the decision-making uh, of this, and, or in the home, so to speak. So the swap, the decisions are being made by the men, the woman is a bit farther away. Yeah, because even the, the boy home. is out. Is outside here. Mm -hmm. Someone mentioned sharecropping. This painting is from 1881. Hmm. Um, the artist is from Warrington, Virginia, so not huh. too far away. Um, so. If this is painted after the Civil War, a little bit even after Reconstruction, what do we know about the lives of these people? Very, very tough. Tough how? They're having to make their own way in a segregated society mm -hmm. where 
you know, uh, nobody's looking out for. Them. Right. And you know, sharecropping, very tough, very tough occupation. Okay, so tough life, as you noticed in the beginning, probably working outside, working the land, getting food however they can, whether it's growing things, fishing, hunting. Um, so what are the, maybe some of the advantages though? Self-sufficiency, oh, freedom. Self-sufficiency <laughs> freedom, autonomy. autonomy. You have those ability to, to build relationships when you're talking about the community because you before you could be sold off and not yes. have a family and not be right. a part of a and family. And they're, they're trading you know, property okay. that they have now, mm -hmm. which before they would not have been able mm -hmm. to. So they have property. Um, so the dogs maybe represent that. And someone mentioned family. I think that's very important that you have a family group together. 